Let's down. Now we're gonna react to Turnarai Durvatara drums version requested by Emoski. So apparently this is Emos in the chat's brother. And what did you say? The song was written in different phases of his life, Emo's brother. At first, he was planning to make this song for all the listeners throughout the world. But then it turned out to be something else more deep, more complex, as it says about the unloving love. The unloving love. That sounds paradoxical. The unloving love. Uh, it says about the work and its competing worlds. It says about the mistake that was not mistaken. What kind of a riddle is this, uh, Emo? <laughs> the mistake that is not mistaken and the lo unloving love. And nevertheless, it says all of his emotions, which, ha which he has summarized and named as Duarva Tara. Okay. Okay, all right. Good to get some backstory there. Uh, but before that, like, subscribe, put on notification bell, tell your mama. Let's go. Is that that's your brother, right? I do like that though that he his voice seems uh you know natural you know what i mean because uh when a lot of people are using auto-tune on their voice so at least his voice is uh, natural <laughs> So did you say that was he kind of sad making this song or, or what? Talk <laughs>
will say one negative thing and one positive thing. The positive thing is I like the flute that joined in. But the negative thing is now I realize uh, why I've heard this before. It's the four chords. Amolski, do you know about the four chords? If you don't know, I will let you know after this. But I do like the, the flute. He's playing good though. With both the guitars and the... I really like that flute. What do you mean ruined it, Mr. Jones? The flute was... Probably the best thing. I mean, I, I think it, it, singing is, is nice, if it's, but the flute. Too high, no, you're too low, Mr. Jones. a real flute you know what I mean it's not a sample you can hear that's like a real flute I mean I could be wrong but it sounds like a real flute and I like that uh, yeah the, 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 the negative is that you know it is the four chords you know what I mean let me see uh, if I pull up the piano here hold on Is it 
माया सबै छर्लङ्गै थियो तिम्रो माया सायद अलि धमिलो It's too late. But what I'm trying to say is, is it is this one, the axis, axis of awesome, meaning all of the songs in the world, they all, they all do the four chords. Well, if you want to, all the greatest hits from the past 40 years just use four chords. Same four chords for every song. It's dead simple to write a pop hit. Just four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These four hit. One, two, three. Four chords. Sorry, let That's me get this straight, Chicken Little. Um, what you're, um, what you're trying to say is you can, you can take those four chords, repeat them, and pump out every pop song ever. Is, is that what you're saying? Stop believing by Journey. It's a great song. Very original. There's a few more that fit. Check it out. My life is brilliant. My love is. Anyway, so if you watch this, this is called Axis of Awesome four chord song. Uh, yeah, the only neg negative for me in that in your brother's song is that you know that melody is not uh, original. Outside of that, I think he did a great job with the uh, singing, uh, the guitar playing, the drums, and uh, but most especially the flute. You know what I mean? Uh, now I don't know if the, that was supposed to be a sad song or not, but. Uh, if it was supposed to be sad, I didn't get that mood from the from the melody, you know. Uh, I would have preferred some something more, you know, melodically original or unique that would have reflected the deepness. I don't think the four chords is that deep, you know. Uh, but uh, still, I think a lot of people would still like that. You, you know, you're, you're literally talking to the... I'm probably the most pickiest guy there is when it comes to music. Uh, <laughs> you know? But I think uh, a lot of people that are not even close to as picky as me would, would enjoy it and actually think it, it's uh, very w well done and all that. Uh but of course, they will probably have to be from Nepal, uh, I think, to understand what he's singing about. Um, so my rating will be, I will rate it two ways. I will rate it one based on the melody, and that will be pretty low because it's not original. But I will also rate it not based on the melody, and just base it on the whole thing, like how it, how, how it was done with all the instruments and the flute. So my first uh, rating on the melody, I got to give it like a two. And, uh, but the other rating on how it was put together uh, and with the flute, man, that flute is really good. Uh, I will rate it a 7.9. But damn! 